remember that the ego is the belief that you could change your identity from Christ to something else. So the ego is the belief in change. Eternity doesn't know what change is. Eternity is just forever. <laughs> there's no beginning, there's no ending. It's, eternity has changed less. Imagine going into, into dimensions of awareness where, where the baseline is not linear time. It's simultaneity. It's still not eternity, but it's, it's, it's a step where everything is happening simultaneously. You know, that, that doesn't have this past, present, future uh, quality to it. Jesus says, there is no continuity between past, present, and future. And egoically, the ego is trying to force continuity onto its own construct. It's trying to make things continuous. So it's trying to say, yeah, the past, and then the present, and the future. It basically emphasizes the past and future. To the ego, the present moment is a tiny little blip that squeeze between the past and the future. The ego likes to emphasize the past because of guilt. Like, look, look what you've done. You're a miserable sinner. And then there's this tiny little blip, ineffectual, worthless, tiny, it's almost tinier than a little pimple. It's nothing. And it, this guilt from the past, heavy, heavy, rolls over this tiny little blip, and then it just projects on into the future. Now, if we're looking for continuity, why not look for the present, like you said, be present. That's what Jesus is really calling us to. He's saying, don't get caught up with all these questions about time or about the world or about the distracted device. Come to me and come with me into the present and come with me into the presence. Be in the presence and, and you'll find that that is everything. And the, that's where the continuity is.